Hey, this morning, I just wanted to um, share here on my YouTube channel with you if you are watching. Don't invest your power in anyone. Don't invest your power in Julie. Don't invest your power in any spiritual teacher. Every one that is teaching anything about non-duality is pointing you back to your own power. You are the infinite being. You are the effortless awareness that is aware of these words right now. There is no separation. And when you adopt the mind, you live in separation, in duality. There is a choice. You can live in it, but you're not in it. You're looking at it. If you invest your power in someone else than yourself, you will be disappointed. Because when that someone doesn't conform conform to what you think or adopt as a belief, when that someone does not conform, you will be disappointed because you maybe you thought, I found it. I found the person that will show me how to be happy. So what I'm constantly saying is there is no one that will bring you happiness other than being with yourself, being in love with the self. So my project here with my YouTube channel is not to save anyone. I'm just here to show there's a possibility there's a way that you may want to try if you feel called to. I'm not here to save anyone. So be careful. Invest in yourself. So what I can tell you, I'm not scared. I'm not scared of being judged. I'm not scared of receiving criticism. I don't even spend time looking at it when it doesn't serve me. I'm here to serve myself in integrity, and I'm here to demonstrate the possibility that you serve yourself first. But if you are constantly looking outside of yourself for love and approval, this is not going to be possible. So I'm also here to let you know that if you feel called to, I can support you to dissolve this fear, to meet this fear without fear, <laughs> to feel this feeling, to do the shadow work, because I did it. I did the shadow work to be able to speak clearly, to be able to stand in truth, to be able to love existence, to live in excitement without fear. That's the voice that I'm projecting here. You're not loving me, Julie. You love the vibration. You love the vibration, the conviction that I'm projecting. That's what you want, the vibration. So I'm not here to be loved by anyone. I'm in love. <laughs> I sit and reside in love. So I don't need anyone's love. Love is flowing from inside out. I'm not looking for it outside. So that's why I post some video that may seem contradict contradictive because I receive criticism about video that I post, but I don't post them for you. I post them for myself, for my own growth. I love to challenge the mind. Let's see what will happen if I feel bad about something, but I still show it. Or if I'm not sure, and I still do it. What will the mind do then? Maybe it goes on a rant. And I'm sitting in silence. Resting in infinite being. While the movement is happening. So I'm not here to sit on a cushion to meditate for decades. To try to find peace. 
I'm living my life in peace while I'm doing, while I'm creating, while I'm selling things, while I'm traveling, while I'm having a relationship. I'm designing my life to my liking because I dissolve the belief in scarcity, lack, fear, judgment, comparison. I don't have time for that. So the message is invest in yourself. Don't invest in someone else. If that someone else can help you invest in yourself, invest in yourself so that someone can bring you to yourself. And if you don't need it because you are super happy, I'm so grateful because my dream is that everyone could be happy. But again, I'm not attached to any dream, so it doesn't matter. The world we're trying to heal doesn't exist. The whole world is in the mind, is in your mind, and it's not even yours. That's the message. Rest in peace, in love, in abundance, in harmony. In excitement, allow yourself to be thriving, to be successful, to be... Who doesn't want that? <laughs> Who doesn't want a happy, intimate relationship? Well, if you don't want it, it's fine. But if you do, then you got it. You want it, you got it. You don't... If you project you can't have it, then you won't. And if you, if you know you can receive it, then you will. Don't invest yourself in other people. They will disappoint you. You only have yourself. Is that enough? And then that joy vibration is shared with other seemingly separate self. That joy vibration is the shared feel that is surrounding you. It doesn't matter if it doesn't surround others. If it does, it does. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. No one will save you. No teacher will save you. No one. Because every time you invest your hope in someone else, in a method, in a model, in a person, ah, oh, I'm so relieved this person is bringing me the solution. There are no solution. Because there are no problem if you don't think about your problem. They don't exist. The person to whom the problem is happening doesn't exist. It's a creation of mind. Live the joy of being. That is enough. When that is enough... There is no more investment in problem and solution. And life continues. And yes, traveling happens and teaching happens and friendship happens and everything continues. It's not gonna, it's not, everything continues because it always was. It's not gonna change, nothing will change. It's the perception that changes, the perspective that changes. Where are you looking from? There is no time. There is no later. The future never comes. The past doesn't exist. Even what we think exists now is a thought. Reality cannot be thought about. But then thoughts are available to communicate, to create, to dream. It's a dream. In which movie do you want to play? That's the question. You want to play in the movie of disappointment? Or do you want to play in the movie of success? Do you want to play in the movie on receiving love and appreciation? Allowing love to enter your life? Receiving appreciation and love? Or do you want to receive criticism and anger? What is it that you're projecting? You are doing it to yourself. Stop. 
Stop doing this. You are creating your own suffering. I'm just living my life. Nothing else. <laughs> so, yes, things appear to be paradoxical. Paradoxical. Things appear to be a paradox, but it isn't. Life is unfolding and I am a joyful participant because I don't dip into suffering anymore. I don't dip in it. I I reside in wisdom, integrity. I owe nothing to no one. And you don't owe anything to anyone. Unless you have small children or animal dependent on you, then you owe them safety and love. But otherwise, you don't owe anything to any kind of any person in your in your awareness. If they are too far from your vibration frequency, they will drop. And you march ahead. Continue to march ahead in joy and love. And you will find new soul friends that are thriving in joy and love. When the vibration frequency is too distant, it's too much of a quantum leap, those that don't match it, they drop. They drop from your awareness. You don't have to be attached to anyone coming and going in your movie frame of life. You're here watching the movie. Things are coming and going with fluidity no need to be attached no need to be scared of losing anything life is a gift unfolding for you in front of you reclaim your power that's the message and meet with me if something is in the way and we can look at the program and the emotion attached to the program and maybe we can either empty it <laughs> because in, in fact there's nothing to empty but sometimes it's how it feels on the path quotation mark because there is no path either there is a path until there isn't until you're done with the path at some point there's no path until you are done with the path with the projection of it will happen later and someone will give it to me you march to god in your own two shoe so maybe we either empty it or at least deal with it consciously, reveal the program, the command, and the hidden benefit, the attachment underneath it. Attachment will be love, the need for love, the need for approval, the need for safety, uh, protecting myself against being blamed, being judged. It's not you, you're not doing it. It's the program that is running you. So we look at the program, we feel the emotion, we allow the emotion to exist, and it does create space for something else to appear in your life other than your current suffering. And sometimes it's possible to completely unplug at once. I'm done. I am done. Wow. That's the invitation. Stay in your power of neutral being. And live from that place and higher. Neutral is my baseline. Neutral about thoughts. Neutral about projection of others. And yet I have enough wisdom to know if I'm hurting someone. That's my own wisdom from the school of life. So this channel is not to save you, is to propose 
a way for you to save yourself. It's just a demonstration. Mistake will happen. And it's totally fine because my character, I embrace in love. She's allowed to try things. She's allowed to make mistakes. She's allowed to stumble and fumble. I love learning. I love it. That's how I grow. That's how I thrive. That's why I'm thriving now. I don't work with harsh judgment about myself. So if you send it to me, I can boomerang back to you. I love you. It's not you that I'm disturbing, it's the mind. I'm not disturbing the real you. The real you is resting in infinite beingness. What I am disturbing is the mind. And I start to like it. And that's starting to feel so yummy. Mm, I start to like it, to disturb the mind, for you to get out of the program of enslavement, for the real being to be free. Okay, enjoy your day, enjoy life, enjoy yourself, love yourself, trust yourself. You are that. You are life. There is no separation. Bye-bye.